So my name is Stephen Mather, I'm the writer for Dissonance and one of the directors of the company, Evil Sheep Production Company. I've got a bit of a background in psychology, so I have a degree in psychology. I'm currently doing a master's in organisational psychology. So I'm really interested in how people kind of make the decisions that they do um, and kind of what, what sort of lies behind their behaviour. It so happens that most of our work so far has that link to mental health in it. So we worked on The Tyrant, which is all about somebody's inner voice and you know, that, that kind of accusationary voice telling you you're no good and all of that. Um, and uh, Celine's um, movie Mould was really about mental health issues for young people at university. So yeah, why, why are we doing it all about that? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure it's going to be the the main theme of everything we do, but I think I think we, we find that interesting, and we know it's a big issue that lots of people suffer from mental health problems. Um, and as somebody who's interested in psychology, I think that actually the line between um, being mentally healthy and mentally unhealthy, if you like, is is very very thin, and and I think it's something that many people um, kind of cross from time to time so I think it's really relevant um, so yeah we think it's an important area to talk about really. We really liked the idea of doing it as a documentary I think for a few reasons. Um, one was uh, I suppose quite a pragmatic reason is that as new filmmakers it, it gave us I suppose a bit more control in terms of where to put the camera, how to do all that sort of technical stuff. But it just felt like a really good way to tell the story. So we thought that using a documentary, we could we could tell a story in a, in a kind of slightly unusual way, um, rather than it being a narrative that we had to take this person through. So I think we saw we saw similarities with with Simon Weatherby and you know people um, characters like Walter White from Breaking Bad, and we we wanted to think you know how great that series was at, at, at making you feel sympathetic towards this character even though you knew what he was doing was completely wrong. So we just wanted to kind of try that but through a documentary. So one of the um, areas of psychology that I'm particularly interested in is, is social constructionism. So how we um, socially construct our world. So we tend to have an assumption that we understand what's going on. but what you realise when you look at it closely is that actually everybody's got a different opinion of what's going on. So what is reality? You know, if you think about something like Brexit or Donald Trump or lots and lots and lots of different issues like that, people will take the same event and will interpret it in a very different way. So we make sense of the world based around our prejudices, our assumptions, our background, our history, and we kind of construct it. So we, we come to believe in a set of truths about the world which are not necessarily the same for somebody else. And this is a source of a lot of argument and uh, um, disagreement and a lot of scratching of heads because we can't understand how somebody else can come to a different conclusion. Um, but it's because of this process of construction. 